Kira! No, you get this one. That was a barracuda. Are you sure you're hundred percent? Yeah, I watched him. Okay. Just get this big mutton. Okay, okay, okay. I got it on film. <laughs> He's hooked too. Come on, big mutton, big mutton. Here he comes. <laughs> Woo! Oh, big mutton. Heck yeah. Don't break him now. That's light leader. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's dinner. Now I'm getting this one. Look at her. Now, what about your camera guy? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sure this is very A hundred percent sure. I saw him eat it. <laughs> what happened? He ran. I'm trying to get the gap. People say big barracudas taste bad, so we're gonna test it out. <laughs> <laughs> Come back over here. That's a That's shark. A shark. Well, the barracuda ate it first. <laughs> I don't want to gaff him, but get him over there on your side. I have more wire too. What's up everybody, Blue Gabe. We're off the coast of Jupiter, Florida. Got my sidekick Bree with me. Just had mad mayhem happen on the boat. Y'all look at this, what is that? What about that? While we're filming this, which y'all have already seen it, the big barracuda just choo, shoots on her flat line. So hey, we're out here, we got dinner. Dinner. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I'll show everybody where we put them on this here. <laughs> All right, open that ice box. Shove him down. Oh, show everybody your whopper snapper. My snapper? Y'all, here's her first snapper. Look at that. Now look at the second one. Upgrade. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> Give that one the redneck. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, you ready? Ooh, yeah. So we netted some finger mullet, we got ballyhoo, we tried to catch a sailfish, that didn't work. I said, let's anchor up, put a flat line out, and also put a mutton rig on the bottom. Just had a big sailfish swim by the boat, tried to catch him, he didn't want to eat. He did turn on the bait, but he didn't come back. Now we got a big, huge keeper mutton, caught a shark, had a barracuda jump at least 15 feet out of the water, didn't get the bait, so we're just getting started. All right, I think we got mutton number two on. We've been catching blue runners and amberines and everything but muttons. Bree caught the first big one. Now I got one on. I think it's a mutton. It's acting weird. Woo! Woo! Big in. Scoop back some. <laughs> yeah. What are we having for dinner tonight, yo? Mine. As you can see, we're using just nice circle hooks, 50 foot leader, about 10 ounces of lead. It's rough, it's gnarly out here. Hey, we know the footage ain't the best. We can't even run the big camera the whole time because it's so nasty out, but y'all are getting the point. Mutton number two. I caught that one on a dead sardine. We've been using live finger mullet. Let's try for number three. Okay. Yeah. Big fish! Mine, mine, mine. What you got? Maybe you can find. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> so choppy, I can't stand. You what? So choppy, I can't stand. Where's your sea legs? <laughs> Under me. <laughs> Come on, mutton. Is that like your designated fishing spot in the shade in the back corner? <laughs> I can't help you, I'm the uh, camera guy. Oh no, no, I know. Big mutton! I see it, I see it, I see it! Big mutton! 
Big fatty. Come on. Don't be tired. Red grouper? What is it? Red grouper. Is it a grouper? Yeah, a grouper. It's a grouper. Uh -oh. Well, can't keep it, but at least we can look at it. <laughs> Hold it up for the camera real quick. Oh, oh there it goes. goes. All right, we got a big fish on. Caught one slipping. Oh, why oh, don't you tell me my oh, weights were right oh, there? I can't help you with that one. I, I'm running the camera. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess what this is. A mutton. Is it? Yeah, that's all I catch is good fish. Oh crap. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that doesn't look like a mutton game. Is this keeper or what is it? Mm. Leave a comment below if you know what that is. We ain't keeping it though. All right, two more baits and we're headed to the hill. Yeah. You know, it, it does help when you tell the cameraman <laughs> that you have fish on. Fish on! There it is. People are gonna get seasick from watching this. <laughs> Looks like a mutton snapper to me and yeah. you didn't even tell me you had a is fight. It really me? Is it really me? Yeah, it's a mutton. <laughs> it's a little one. <laughs> Wait, is this 16 you think? No, he's short. We're trying to keep everything. <laughs> all right, now it's time to tell y'all about our rig. So we've got straight 80 pound braid all the way down to a three-way swivel, 40 foot of 30 to 40 pound test mono to just like a 5 aught J hook. Then from there we go down from the swivel we go down with three foot of line to 10 ounces of lead. So you got straight main line to a three-way to a lead 40 foot of line to a hook. We're using live finger mullet, dead sardines, cut mullet. Just having a good day. It's been slow, we tried to catch sailfish. Now we're catching muttons. I've, I've been over there catching lanes, but she won't film me. Cause then she might think that I might like get above her on the scoreboard or I don't know. But hey, we're gonna give this about 20 more minutes and we're gonna go and try to catch a snook or a jack or go home and cook. Cause we got two big muttons and four nice lane snapper for dinner. All right, so I'm gonna let Bree show you how to put the bait on this rig that we're using and how you pitch it out, drop it down and sit there and hold it. All right, I'm going, I'm gonna go through the nostrils on this guy. It's hard to hold the camera still. There we go, just like that. Now why aren't you standing up? Because <laughs> I'm used to sitting in the kayak. And it's blowing 40 and rough. All right, so she just threw the bait out, obviously. Now she's got to pick this weight up. Pick the weights up so we can see them. There you go. See the three-way rig? All right, pitch it in. All right. Bam! All right, we're back at the house. I'm only going to clean one side. We're going to save the rest of this. Bree's got some family in town. I've got some family who wants some fish. So I'm gonna scale one side, fillet one side, put the rest on ice, and we'll finish that later. Tonight, all we're cooking is one fillet. So I'm gonna take this spoon. The last time I scaled a fish, a bunch of y'all said use a spoon. So I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but we're gonna do some. And just like I got every scale off, make sure you get all the scales off if you're gonna cook it with the skin on, because even one little scale just messes everything up. Now I'm not going to get close to his ribs because I'm going to cook his throats in another video or maybe just for my family, I don't know yet. So coming just like this, stay right next to their fin. All right, so when you get in on that backbone, just follow it down, easy peasy. On these bigger muttons, them pin bones get a little gnarly. Just like that, one big flay. 
All right, I'm gonna take the rest of this fish, put it on ice, clean that up in the kitchen. Look at that, show them that Traeger grill smoking. You smell how good those chips smell? I'm ready. All right, this is just this can cooker. It comes with this little utensil. You put it in here and it turns it into a steamer. I got some asparagus, some mushrooms, some broccoli, some yellow squash that I've already cut up. Whoop, and I dropped one. Put it in there. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the butter garlic. Turn it on high and let it be. Now we'll get the fish ready. All right, so with the fish, I'm just gonna put a little bit of aluminum foil, a little bit of olive oil, just to keep the fish. I'm gonna cook it on this aluminum foil for a bit. Then I'm gonna lay it down, meat down on the grill. But for right now, just like that. This fish is gonna be simple and so good. A little bit of black pepper. A bit of kosher salt. Just a little bit more olive oil. Now let's take it outside. Y'all, this timber line is where it's at. That's literally all we're gonna do right now. Put it in there 200 degrees for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna crank the heat up, flip it on the meat side down. Done. All right, so the fish is almost done cooking. We're waiting on the vegetables and the sauce that I'm making, but in the meantime, can y'all see the third degree burns on my face? I learned a very valuable lesson today. So this is the first time Bree and I have like legit fished together, like straight up went fishing together hard. I sat out there today and she, she's sitting right here petting redneck and doesn't know I'm about to say this. I thought she'd say uncle, so I'm like, I'm just gonna stay and fish until she says uncle and we're ready to go in. This is why I have third degree burns. Why didn't you ever say uncle? You're fishing. <laughs> I'm like, please, for the love of God, can we go in already? Nope. And then when we got in, she wanted to fish some more and catch some jack. So thank God the sun set and we had to come in and now we're here cooking. So Redneck, how come you always get the attention? Because <laughs> he's the cutest. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you just got that stinky kiss. <laughs> All right, so the fish is almost done. I got a little bit of butter and lime. I want to drizzle over the top. It looks so good, I'm not even going to flip it. I don't need to because it's almost caramelized on the top. Let's see if we can show them that or just ease up there and show them. See if they can smell it. Oh. Two more minutes and that's a wrap. Oh, that was hot. Look at that. Come back out in a second and turn that grill off. All right, so this is how this is gonna go down. We got our vegetables right in here. Put them on top like so. Now, if I wasn't making a video, I'd do this separately, but I'm trying to show y'all how this is done the correct way. Pile these vegetables right on top. All right, now here comes the magic. Y'all be quiet and don't smell your phones. Mmm, get a close up of that. Can y'all smell it? Ooh, that looks so good. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. But are you excited? I'm excited. I'm so glad you're sunburned too. <laughs> Thanks. The, ba the bad thing is, is I had to sit on the sunny side of the boat. She's sunburned and sat on the shady side of the boat. We're going to get a plate, see y'all at the table. Man, that looks good. Mmm. That cam cooker does a trick when it comes to steaming. That Traeger grill is the bomb. She did catch the first mutton. Hey, 
All right, do you want the shoulder piece or do you want the tail piece? Mm, shoulder. Mmm. Mmm. We gotta say a blessing. Mm -hmm. First, we're gonna pray for her hair. <laughs> All right, y'all. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing Bree and I to have some awesome, amazing times out there to fellowship and in the good fish. And thank you for this mutton. And thank you for dying on the cross to forgive us of our sins. And most importantly, thank you for allowing all of us to be born and have this great life that we live. Amen. Put the hat back, back on, on before you scare everybody <laughs> on YouTube world. Better. All right, dig in. It smells really good. This is the best meal that I've had here. Why? <laughs> it is really good. Um, is it better than tender. the sand fleas? Yes. Way better than the sand Way fleas? Way better than the sand fleas. I'm going to eat all of it. I would normally say she couldn't eat all that, but y'all, I don't know where these girls put the food, but they will eat like they're starving. <laughs> Let me try it. Let me try it. That asparagus is so tender. Mm-hmm. You 100% taste that smokiness. <laughs> Y'all, that's on another level. So quick, let me show you this sauce. So you probably think I got fancy with you on the sauce, but I didn't, that's like a dollar packet. I spent about $8 on vegetables, about $600 on tackle. <laughs> so other than that, this is a cheap meal. If you don't count in the weights and the hooks and the gas, and the whatever I gotta buy for this sunburn tomorrow, this was a very cheap, affordable, healthy meal. I figured the last video I fried everything, this video, I'd, I'd step it back a notch and make it a little bit healthy. Besides the Brene sauce, that's a pretty healthy meal. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching, thanks for subbing. Y'all check out Bree's channel. When you see her on these kayaks way offshore, there's not like a camera boat over there waiting around the corner to help her. There's not anybody else there with her normally. There's nobody, like nobody. She's out there, a little, little insane, <laughs> by herself. She gaffs them, she catches them, she brings them back, cooks them, cleans them, eats them, is the real deal. And not only that, we got some crazy videos that we're gonna do on paddle boards, the two of us together on her channel. Something about sleeping on it. What about sleeping on a paddle board? Sleeping on a paddle board. Sleeping on a sup. On a sup, y'all, this sup, like what's sup? It's not a sup, it's a paddleboard. We're gonna be sleeping on a paddleboard, red fishing in the Mosquito Lagoon. It'll probably be worse than the sunburn because the Mosquito Lagoon's named the Mosquito Lagoon for a reason. I'm gonna have 12 thermocells on that thing. But hey, I know I've talked your ear off this video. Thanks, Bree, for coming. Thank you all for subbing. Thank you for all the likes, positive comments. Hey, like Jake says, we're getting the heck out of what? Shape. See y'all.